Hi, I'm Stephanie Sidlick. I am an assistant professor of chemistry here at Carnegie Mellon University. Today, I'm going to give you a nice little virtual tour of our building and our chemistry department. And uh, because you can't flip the phone back and forth between my point of view and selfies, uh, hopefully I've centered myself okay. So let's take a look. Across the street, we have the Cathedral of Learning and Heinz Chapel. Um, and here you'll see our building. It's pretty uh, awesome actually. Um, these pillars surround the building and they are the largest single structure marble monoliths in the world. I've heard that at least. We are also a National Chemical Historic Landmark. So here we are going in through the main doors on the Bellfield entrance. Now if you come from campus, um, which you will pretty frequently if you are planning to TA, which most of our graduate students do. So we'll check out now kind of the facilities by the back door. So most students, when they come from campus, come in this back door, which is by the loading dock. And this is pretty useful um, because the building is huge. Look at a map. Um, it's shaped like a figure eight, so it is kind of a maze and it takes up a whole city block. So here we have the loading dock entrance. And you can see we have kind of light activity because it is, well, the COVID-19 outbreak. So this is the door we usually take from the university. And right by this door, we have our storeroom. Um, we can't go inside right now because it's only open in the mornings, but this is really convenient. All of our packages are going to be delivered there, and you can also get normal lab supplies. Things like beakers, um, stock reagents, solvents, anything you'd want like that. We also have a mail room here on campus um, and a place for socialization. Um, it's pretty nice. Over there in the corner, you can see a student with a water cooler. Um, and there's also coffee over there. So any time of day that you want some coffee, it's not great coffee, honestly. Um, you should make friends with some of the professors if you want good coffee. Um, actually, Kevin Noonan, he has the best coffee. He has an espresso maker. Um, and so if I want really good coffee, I go visit him. But um, yeah, there, there's other options. I guess I shouldn't sell his group too hard, but he is great. Okay, we uh, are walking now past the uh, security guard. Hi. We're making a virtual video for prospective students. <laughs> and here we are on the third floor. So this is the floor we walked in on, so that's a little bit weird. Um, you come in on the third floor, and then we have two floors below ground. You can see our auditorium is pretty cool uh, down the stairs. We don't really go in there except for commencement. But there are some places here on the third floor that we do go a ton. So on the left of this hallway, we have the NMR facility. And on the right, we have the gym. So um, unfortunately, I can't give you a peek in the gym. I tried. Um, but it's closed for the outbreak, but the NMR facility is still open, so let's go in. You can see uh, it is at work. Uh, we have some graduate students here uh, doing some work. Guys, this is a virtual tour um, that we are giving a uh, recording for prospective graduate students um, and showing them the NMR facility. Um, you guys have, have anything you want to add to them about how awesome Carnegie Mellon is? Uh, San Diego's great yeah. facilities. San Diego's good. <laughs> yeah. Love yeah. Here. Yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky. We have a uh, research professor who works full time with these NMRs. We have a 300 and a 500. Both are fully automated. It's okay. We're all going to walk into each other's screens. Um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, it doesn't seem like much. I know many schools have more NMRs than we have, but um, because we have such a good specialist working on them, it really doesn't matter. These NMRs have never been down. Um, now, like I said, I'm an assistant professor, 
So I haven't been here that long, not even five years yet, but I was an undergraduate here at Carnegie Mellon as well. So it's been quite a while that I know that these MRs have not been down. So we're going up the stairs now from the third floor to the fourth floor. We're gonna take a look at the library and um, the administrative offices. Okay. So here we are. And now to the right over here, we'll see the, the offices. Um, you've probably corresponded with Lorna. Um, she's in there. We're of course on reduced staff right now. And then if we go this way, we have our library who's also closed right now. Um, it is really pretty, um, but unfortunately we can't share it. There is also a massage chair in the library um, that gives students free massages, or anyone at the university free massages. Um, so that's a nice perk, you can just come down and use the massage chair. Um, here we have Stephanie's, which is our little cafe in the building. Um, it's basically a robot cafe, but it is a really big building and takes a while to walk outside of the building to get food. So it's nice to be able to have that here. It takes credit cards and you don't have to interact with the person. So I guess a win for social distancing. Now here we have our main lobby. We'll have events in here sometimes. Um, it is really pretty. They put a giant Christmas tree right there in the middle. Um, and so that's nice for our Christmas party. Um, and yeah, okay. Taking a walk again back to the stairs, we'll go check out one more shared use lab. Now, these uh, shared use labs, anyone in the building can use them. And like I said, there are researchers who can help you with it. Now beyond the instruments we have in our shared use, each lab also has instruments and it's very easy to share between the different departments and labs. Okay, fifth floor. Like I said, we are amazed so we are going to 553 odd. Now following the code, we should go this way. Uh-oh. It says 551. So, so, oh, we have, I'm giving a virtual recorded tour. Do you want to say hi to the prospective students? Oh, okay. Yeah? Hi. So we have a uh, Hyung here, um, who was a department head lead for a long time, yes, but no right. longer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah so anything you want to add about how well, awesome this it is, is here? Well, this place looks like deserted, <laughs> like every, everywhere else. But yeah, this is a very uh, you know vibrant place. It'll be an excellent place for you to uh, work here. So yeah, please yeah. give a very serious thought about us. Yeah, thanks. Am I heading the right way to the mass deck? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Um. Yeah, so I was an undergraduate here and really, I only applied to one place for a job as a professor. Um, to me, Carnegie Mellon is very special um, because it is so collaborative and interdisciplinary. Everyone's very friendly and willing to help each other. Um, so up on the eighth floor where my lab is, um, we just walk into other labs, ask for help, share reagents, and that's not a culture we find everywhere. Um, additionally, it's really easy to collaborate between departments. Um, and so, yeah, really uh, pretty fantastic. So this is the right place, but I think the wrong door, but we'll give it a try. Um, unfortunately, we can't say hi to Mark because daycare is closed and he has to watch his daughters. And we're in. Okay, so this is our shared mass spec lab. Um, we have a lot of nice instrumentation for use in here. Um, some students in here using it. Um, some x-ray scattering. Um, our multi. An IR. Um, but even beyond this, we do have 
a lot of, like I said, share equipment within the lab. So if you didn't see what you're looking for, probably one of our labs has it. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to uh, say goodbye to you, and hopefully this virtual tour was a little bit helpful. Have a great day.